Welcome to this somatic breathwork practice for nighttime anxiety. This is an exercise that is designed to help you if you ever fall into that overthinking, ruminating thought, um, catastrophizing mode that can sometimes really affect us late at night or even in the middle of the night. So all you're gonna need for this practice is a heavy book, I've got Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom by Dr. Christiane Northrup, a great one. You're gonna also need um, a wall or you can use your headboard um, because we're gonna be practicing legs up the wall, which is my all-time favorite somatic practice for getting ready to fall asleep, especially if I'm feeling anxious. So grab your book, get in a position near a wall, grab a pillow if you want um, to put under your head, and then join me here and we'll get started. So first things first, getting into the position of legs up the wall. Everyone that I talk to always finds this the most um, awkward part, but I'm gonna lay you in on a little hack. Sit with your side next to the wall, so shoulder, hip and leg next to the wall, up against the wall too. Check behind you, make sure you're not gonna roll over on anything. I moved my book and then I realized I moved it to the wrong spot. So, I like to put the hand straight up, and then we're just simply gonna roll back and twist. Here's what it looks like. Hopefully your wall doesn't move like mine. All right, so you're now in the position of legs up the wall. How did that feel? Was it simple? Okay. If you have to scoot your rear end down towards the wall, that's totally okay. And you also don't have to have your bottom pressed right up against the wall. You can have a bit of space between you and the wall as well. That's totally all right. So now that we're in this position, I want you to just take a few moments and simply be here. Get yourself as comfortable as possible. Moving closer to the wall or farther from the wall if you need to knowing you can bend the legs a little bit or extend them straight if that's most comfortable. And as you lay here in this position, I want you to know that one of the reasons why this is so helpful for our nervous system when we're feeling anxious is because it helps to signal to our body that we're safe. It also helps to decrease inflammation in the body and moves lactic acid out of the leg muscles. So it can be really nice to help you fall asleep at night. Perfect. So now what I want you to do is focus on where your body moves as you breathe. Not feeling like you have to change anything or do anything differently. Simply notice which parts of your body are moving right now as you take your inhale and your exhale. You can breathe in the nose, out the mouth, in and out of the nose, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Now I'd like for you to put your hands on the place in your body where you're feeling the most movement. For me, that's my belly. <sighs> feeling a lot of movement actually in the upper belly today. But you might feel movement in the chest. You might feel it in your shoulders. Just simply place your hands on that body part now and allow yourself to breathe naturally. So 
So a lot of times what can happen when we feel anxious is that we start to take shallow, short breaths, often in the chest, constricting in the throat, maybe really making us tense up the shoulders. And so as we lay here and legs up the wall, what I'd love for you to do now is try and shift your breath into the belly. If you have noticed that your breath is mostly in the ribs or the chest, try and focus the breath down into the lower belly. And placing the hands there can be a bit helpful. If this doesn't feel like it's giving you a lot of biofeedback or maybe you're still thinking, oh, I'm not doing this quite right. First, know that in this case, you don't have to worry about doing it right. I don't want you to stress about that too. Just simply see if you can feel any movement in the belly as you place your hands there and you breathe deeply. Now, if this is still a bit tricky for you, I want you to get your book. Grab that book and I want you to place it on the belly. And you might have to scoot out a little bit from the wall if you're too close and your thighs and your belly are too close together. Just give it a little scoot. Place the belly there, um, the book there on the belly. Letting your hands rest at your sides. And now breathe into the belly. Is the book moving? I bet it is. See how simple that was? It can often be a little easier when we have a prop like this to notice that change and where the breath is happening. So let's just leave the book there on your belly and continue breathing in and out. You're doing great. Now what I want you to try is to extend your exhale a little longer than your inhale. You don't have to worry about counting right now. Just see if you can extend that exhale longer than the inhale. Sometimes I know it does help to have a bit of counting to guide you. So let's breathe together and inhale for four and exhale for six. Okay? Let's breathe together now. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Now take another breath. And if you're having trouble extending the exhale, another thing you can do is press your lips together like you're exhaling through a straw. You might find that it sounds like you're about to whistle but what that can naturally do is extend your exhale. It's also very cooling and calming. So it's another practice, another of these somatic breath practices that can really help you if you're feeling anxious at night. So now let's try breathing together again, inhaling for four 
exhaling for six, and pursing your lips together like you're breathing through a straw if that helps you. Ready? Let's go. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six. In, and out. In, and out. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, five, six. Going back to breathing naturally now. Into the belly. Noticing how you're feeling whether you feel a bit more calm, a bit more peaceful. Noticing the ways your breath has changed since we first began the practice. Hopefully you feel more calm, more cool, more in your body and out of your head. You can feel free to stay in this position with legs up the wall, breathing naturally as long as you like. And I encourage you to do this before bed every night for at least five up to 10 minutes or more to help you get into that state of parasympathetic rest, to decrease inflammation, and to help signal to your body that you're safe. Whenever you're ready, you can take the book off your belly and again, slowly start to sit up by simply shifting those legs back over to the side and rolling up and there you have it a somatic practice to help you whenever you have nighttime anxiety I'm Leslie and I am so happy that you took some time to breathe with me today if you like this video make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video like this they come out every Tuesday and Thursday I'll see you next time